hello hello my lovelies how are you welcome back to my channel okay so that's me hyping myself up before i can get to do my hair so today is a treat a special treat for my hair my skin and i'm just getting ready to do my hair so before that i get to hype myself up because my hair has been a mess for weeks and i've neglected it but now i have to take care of it and make sure that it gets back to the normal state and it gets all the moisture from the aloe vera treatment that i'll be doing okay so before doing the aloe vera treatment i'll be doing a coffee scrub which we're going to see in my next video but right now let's focus on the aloe vera treatment that i'm going to put on the ends of my hair because the coffee scrub that's from various cosmetics the recovery coffee scrub is meant for the scalp it's a scalp treatment okay and my brother was helping me out with that my dogs were also helping me out so they were just helping to hype me up okay so i started off by washing the aloe vera leaves that i got and I got this aloe vera plant from um, Asha and Hope. Um, I'll leave a link for you so you can follow them up and then see if you can get yourself a plant. This plant is so amazing. It's got so many benefits. I think I made a post about this some time back on the benefits that you can get from aloe vera. And you can give them a visit. The plant costs only 55 kwacha and 80 kwacha if you're getting it together with a flower pot. All right, so I started off by washing the leaves. I was using three because my hair is so much, like it's so thick and it took in so much. So I, would, I rinsed it off and then I had to get rid of the spikes on the sides because you know it's got that sharp, those sharp ends. So I had to get rid of those sharp ends and then slice the aloe vera into small chunks or small portions that were easy for me to work with then I, I had to slice off the, the, the top part of the leaf so I could scoop out the gel which I later on put in a micro um, sorry not a microwave but in a blender and I blend that so it could um, I could make a smooth paste out of it though it wasn't really smooth and next time I think I'm going to use a strainer to try and strain it off and use a cheesecloth so it's easy for me not to have the particles on my hair because I had so much particles so many particles on my hair after I washed off the aloe vera and the coffee scrub okay so this is the gel in the mic um in the blender sorry why do i keep saying microwave so that's the gel and that's what it looks like after blending it yeah and we're getting ready now you see how thick my hair looks so if you're able to see the brownish stuff there that's the coffee scrub i made this video after i did the coffee scrub after i applied the coffee scrub on my eye scalp i'm going to make another video on that so it's easy for you to see how you can apply the scrub on your scalp and that scrub is meant to unclog your 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 scalp of all the product build up and if you are experiencing stunted growth that scrub is something that you really need to add to your hair care routine okay so what i'm doing currently is called a pre pull you remember last time I did a video where I did a pre pull using oils. So this particular video is um, a video on how you can use aloe vera as a pre pull to coat your hair. So a pre pull is simply a process where you get to coat your hair with a protectant that's going to protect your hair from all the harsh chemicals that you find in shampoo because some shampoos contain some sulfur and silicones which get to wash your hair like your hair becomes squeaky clean but then it strips it off of all the nutrients the sebum that it has so your hair becomes too dry and is prone to breakage so the pre is meant to coat your hair from or and to protect it from all that harsh chemical that is found in the hair products like shampoos that contain silicones and sulfur okay so the reason why i get to 
um, do a pre puts because I don't want my hair to become so dry because you know I've got high porosity hair and my hair easily dries off because my hair shafts are open so I easily take in moisture and easily lose it at the end of the day so I have to make sure that I protect my hair from anything that will dry it off and then once I get to um, apply the the aloe vera I get to twist my hair because I wash my hair in twists and that helps me to have easy access to the scalp easy distribution of the products when i'm washing it and i had to finish off this process from the bathroom because oops i wasn't getting it you know like it's a bit messy so you need to be away from things that are bright you might end up messing up um the um the living room or what whatever it is that you are using so i had to go and finish off the process from the bathroom okay so aloe vera will help to protect your hair from so many things you know like it helps to add moisture to your hair it's very good to get rid of product build up and then it helps especially for those that are revetting or those that um for those that are experiencing hair breakage so this really helps to prevent hair breakage it also uh, helps with people that have relaxed hair because your hair um, is prone to uh, it loses this, the thing the sebum easily so this helps to add in moisture to your hair you should really try to incorporate this into your hair care routine you'll really love it it will give you so many benefits and your hair really it helps to improve the, the the growth of your hair so your hair thickens from the video i'm sure you're able to see that my hair is thick very thick i've been using this for a very long time and it's really helped to add volume to my hair okay i love you i hope you can try this routine if you can't do a pre-pull with aloe vera try to do a people with oils and besides oils don't easily wash off so by the time you'll be done with the whole uh shampoo process the deep conditioning you'll find that there will still be some bit of oil that is remaining on your hair okay i love you Mwah.